What types of income are considered when determining eligibility for food stamps? Hello everyone! Welcome to today's video, where we will be discussing the types of income that are considered when determining eligibility for food stamps. Understanding these income sources is crucial for determining if you qualify for this important assistance program. So, let's dive right in. Earned Income The first type of income that is considered when determining eligibility for food stamps is earned income. This refers to the money you receive from working, such as wages, salaries, tips, or self-employment income. It is important to report your earned income accurately, as it plays a significant role in determining your eligibility for food stamps. Unearned Income Moving on to the next type of income, we have unearned income. Unearned income includes various sources of income that are not earned through employment. This can include social security benefits, supplemental security income, SSI, pensions, retirement benefits, unemployment benefits, workers' compensation, veterans' benefits, alimony, child support, rental income, interest or dividends, royalties, trust or estate distributions. It is essential to include all sources of unearned income when determining your eligibility for food stamps. Remember, accurate reporting is key. Resources and Assets Apart from income, resources and assets are also considered when determining eligibility for food stamps. Resources can include bank accounts, cash, vehicles, real estate, excluding your primary residence, stocks, bonds, savings bonds, certificates of deposit, retirement accounts, e.g., IRAs, 401ks, while the specifics can vary, generally there are limits to the amount of resources you can have and still qualify for food stamps. These limits aim to ensure that assistance is provided to those who need it the most. Deductions and Exclusions now, let's talk about deductions and exclusions. When determining eligibility for food stamps, certain deductions and exclusions are taken into account to calculate your net income. Some common deductions include standard deductions, dependent care deductions, medical expenses, shelter costs, child support payments, legally owed debts. These deductions and exclusions help paint a more accurate picture of your available income and can potentially increase your eligibility for food stamps. That brings us to the end of today's video on the types of income considered when determining eligibility for food stamps. Remember, when applying for this assistance program, it is crucial to report all sources of income accurately and be aware of the limits on resources that apply. If you believe you may be eligible for food stamps, make sure to contact your local Supplemental Nutrition Assistance Program SNAP, office for further guidance and assistance. Thank you for watching, and I hope this information has been helpful to you. Take care and see you next time.